Hey, you guys. I very unintentionally took a month off. I looked at my YouTube. It's been 31 days, almost 32 days since I uploaded a video. Moving just was so much more work than I thought it would be. I always think that, though. Anyway, I'm here. We're at Gunner's aunt's house. We're living out of this room. Excuse the mask, guys. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm heading out right now. I am busy even today, but I wanted to do my makeup and I have just like a little bit of extra time. So I thought, okay, perfect. I'll do my makeup right now and film a little video, just a little a life update. So here we go. I already did my skincare. By the way, guys, I got the L'Oreal Tinted Serum. Freaking love this stuff. This is like the perfect foundation for me. Oh, hang on. Let me wet my first update on the baby. Baby is doing great, growing. My tummy isn't, like, big yet. I'm almost four months, so I'm 15 weeks. I mean, it's not even, like, a belly. I feel like I just look a little, a little chubby. And I was laughing because after I got out of my 12 weeks or something, I feel totally normal. I don't even feel pregnant. All my symptoms are just, I'm like totally normal. I've been working out. I've been just totally normal. So I thought, how funny, I wanted to do a weekly update. And then I just, like, what am I going to update you guys every week? I feel the same. <laughs> I'm sure that in a couple more weeks, I'll start to have more changes. My, my bump will probably grow and everything. But overall, I'm super grateful that I feel good because... I've been so busy and having to do so many things that it's nice that my body is letting me, you know, manage all of that. Although yesterday, I got really sleepy out of nowhere and I took a nap in the middle of the day. I wanted to go work out, but that's one of the things I think, especially when you're pregnant and not pregnant, you want to just listen to your body. And my body was saying, you need to sleep. For whatever reason so and i've been sleeping so much lately a lot more than usual but and i've been feeling like i need to sleep a lot more than usual but i've just been going with it because i figure that's probably what my baby needs is me to sleep if i've been getting so sleepy other than like the few just like random sleepiness okay my camera just fell i hope it didn't break you guys can't tell too much in the camera right now other than maybe this should i move that is that bothering you guys this room is a mess <laughs> it's like all of our apartment basically <laughs> the necessities in this one room uh other oh my gosh you guys i felt the baby move the day i turned 15 weeks i remember i felt the baby i was on the motorcycle with Gunner and I kept feeling this like really weird feeling in the middle of my tummy. I think I'm feeling the baby move because I've never felt that feeling and it wasn't like a cramp. It was just, it wasn't like a stomach thing. It was just like a flutter like everyone describes it. But that is one thing, you guys know me. I'm very, I, I'll like look into all my symptoms a lot and everything. So I was like, um, I kind of resigned to the fact that I probably wasn't going to feel my baby move until like 20 weeks or something, you know, until they're much bigger. And I wasn't even thinking about it. Like, I just really thought it would, I wouldn't be feeling it. So it really caught me off guard. And I texted my midwife and I was like, can you feel the baby move at 15 weeks? And she said, yeah, you can. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. I was not expecting that. So that was really fun. Oh, God. On cue, Gunner is literally sending me video. <laughs> this is him. He caught this rattlesnake uh, on his lunch break, and he's sending me pictures and a video of it. Like, that thing is poisonous. It can <laughs> bite you. Anyway, he's just a little mountain man. That's what he likes to do. So whatever. Um, but yeah. That's the only, only, only like pregnancy thing. Sorry, I feel like I'm like rushing and yelling and out of breath. I'm like always out of breath. That is another thing. I went to play tennis with Gunner last weekend. I was out of breath. I'm like, dang, I'm really out of shape right now. I haven't had that much time to work out, which is a bummer, but I have, I did go like twice this week. 
So I'm just trying to be nice to myself about it and be have grace because I am like in the middle of moving and I've still been working here and there and just you know managing the whole move. It's been a lot. I tell myself like it's okay. I do want to be working out more just because I know it can help with labor a lot. So once we get settled into our new house, I'm definitely going to make it more of a priority. But I've been staying active. We did go play tennis that one day. I went swimming over the weekend. Some days when I'm not working out, but I like have to walk a lot everywhere. And then moving was uh, its own type of workout. <laughs> Going to the doctor tomorrow. My only OB, OB appointment in Arizona. And we might be able to find out the gender via blood test. That's going to be really exciting. Um, let's see, what else? We're going to, at the time of filming this, I have no idea when I'm going to get this uploaded, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> go, let me go back on a thought. I also did have a little bit of time to film when we first got here, but I got the biggest cold sore of my life. I don't even have a picture because I have not gotten a cold sore like that since I was probably a little girl when I first started getting cold sores. <laughs> it was massive. And I think it's because I'm pregnant and like all my hormones, they just like went. But I always get a cold sore when I move. I don't know why. Um, probably because it's stressful. But it was massive. So I'm like, I'm not filming with this thing. And I know the people that do watch my videos consistently, you guys are like, we don't care, Jazz. Rock your culture. And you guys, I seriously love you guys for that. You're sweet. But I just couldn't do it. <laughs> it was so, I could barely talk and move because it was just like cracking and bleeding. It was awful. And it took a, a good while to heal. But now we're all good. Anyway. So, at the time of filming this, it is Wednesday, no, Tuesday. So, we move, the goal is to have everything packed up and leave, leave by Monday next week. We keep going back and forth and just saying, like, let's just leave Sunday. So, because it's kind of just, like, up to us uh, when to get there. So, we might leave a little earlier. Um, there's a few other things into play with that, like, if our cars get picked up for shipping earlier then we can do that. Gunnar and I were both doing this. We were like idealizing Arizona a little bit. We're like, oh, it's not too bad. Like when I got to go to the pool this weekend, I checked the temperature in, in Idaho and it is cold still. But the thing is, is like I went swimming right now because I know I'm not gonna be able to go swimming right away. Oh, I might be in Idaho and I wanted to get some sun. But the thing is, is that I'm only doing that because I'm idealizing Arizona. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it is so sunny and so nice and all of these things. But in a regular day-to-day, -day, like last year, there's absolutely no way I would have gone to the pool this early <laughs> in the year. Because I get so mad when it's hot. So I'm definitely idealizing it and making it to be nicer in my mind than it really is. But I just try to remember that when it gets super summertime, I just hate everything. And I wanna live by the water, which I'm going to, which is great. I don't even know, I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I think, did I tell you guys we got our rental? We have, our, we have all our rental stuff figured out. And it's by the water, which is a dream, honestly. I'm starting to like idealize it here a little bit and everything, but I know that it's just because I'm moving. And really the one thing I'm going to miss is my family. But I'll think of it as a favor to them because I'll have, I'll give them all an excuse to leave Arizona and go visit me, especially in the summer. I'm like, you guys can come visit me whenever all my friends and family are welcome, whenever you guys want to escape this heat. So I'm just thinking about it like that. Still convincing my little brother to go move with me there, but I mean, he's in high school, so he said maybe... He said absolutely no, but recently he's starting to say maybe after he graduates high school. So that makes me happy if he goes to Idaho with me. Let's see, what time is it? I've been wanting to do my makeup a lot more lately. I haven't been doing it, but I've been wanting to. I've also been wanting to get a remote job, just like any type of remote job. And some of them even do maternity leave after you work there for 30 to 60 days to 90 days, which I still have time to do which I'm wanting to do because since I've been working the last few months, we've really been able to pay off a lot of stuff. And I just want to keep it going so that can all be done. All of our debt can be paid off and then I could just relax. 
um, and Gunner can just work. But I would like to keep going at the debt because it was really started making a big difference when we were both working. And then a lot of the money I was able to make ended up going to moving, which is fine. But it's so hard to get a remote job. It's been so hard because I have a really good resume. I've worked at some really nice places. But it doesn't really matter because I was there for a specific job doing massage therapy. I don't really have experience doing a remote job or a computer job. But, I mean, like, I do my own YouTube channel. So, like, obviously I know how to use a computer really well. And I know I, I can do any job really well. I just need someone to show me like what they want me to do and I could do it easily. So I know that if I can get an interview, I'll get the job, but I haven't even been able to get an interview. So, which is so weird because I've never struggled to get a job like that. So that's kind of been something I guess I'm struggling with. I did get an interview and I got a job offer. For a company, I won't say what company, but they required a COVID vax. And I'm like, what the heck? Even if I had one, I would, I think it's so weird that they asked that. Like, why do you want to know my, I didn't know if you had to provide your medical information to have a job. That seems so illegal <laughs> to ask that. Like, what the heck is, that's so weird. Like, you can't work here unless you get a vaccine. Like, that's so weird that's just so odd to me so i turned that job down because i'm not going to do that obviously even if i wanted to get the vax i still feel like i'd turn down a job that made me like that made me show proof of it because what the heck that's none of your business so anyway so i know like i know an inter another interview will be coming soon i just need someone to ignore the fact that i was a massage therapist and like look at where i worked as a accomplishment maybe and help me get a remote job so I'll keep you guys posted on that and imagine if I could do like a little work from home uh work vlog that would be so cute but but now that I'm in a little bit more of a groove and more settled I think I just, I just I've been so busy almost every single day and then when I'm not I just sleep guys I didn't think I would do that, but I, I am. I think I'm going to vlog when we're on our move. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. I did film that week in my life. If you guys saw, I posted a little poll. I was like, oh, I'm going to film a week in my life. And I did film it, but I never got around to editing it. And then I just, I'm like, oh, it's, that was a month ago. I'm not going to post a week in my life from a month ago. In that week of my life, I was talking to you guys about how I'm feeling about social media. And it's kind of tricky because I've always loved YouTube. And I'm like, oh my god, I should have just started my YouTube channel when I actually wanted to. But whatever. You can't really think like that. But I also do wish that because it was just different on YouTube back in the day. And I've always loved YouTube. YouTube is like my ride or die social media app. I could do without... Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. I mean, I won't lie. I have a Facebook purely just so I can use my marketplace, but I don't like have anything else on there. I, and I would give up Instagram in a heartbeat. I keep deleting the app for my phone, honestly. But now I have beef with YouTube and I'm so mad that everyone's going towards the vertical video. And I know some people really like it. I guess that's fine for some, but I freaking hate vertical video. I think tiktok is the worst waste of time i'm like i've had a tiktok before it's like just it's honestly just a waste of time there's no benefit from it i mean some people have some really cool videos there's some really cool creators i'm not like dogging on the creators themselves but the format of the app is just meant to keep you on your phone for hours and hours and hours so regardless of the how amazing the creator is it doesn't matter mm -hmm the the whole purpose of the app is to keep you there for hours and i'm just like what business wants to keep people on their phone sitting on their couch on their bed for hours like that just seems like a waste of life so obviously i deleted tiktok like a year or more ago but now i feel like every single app is tiktok instagram's like tiktok and now my favorite app in the entire world youtube is like tiktok which is 
such a bummer and I'm getting really mad because I catch myself on YouTube shorts and I feel like it's a waste of time and nothing makes me more mad than that so I'm like oh my gosh I'm really I'm going to have to delete YouTube from my phone I don't even like watching YouTube anymore I also feel like I'm kind of bored with it so I'm gonna try to make like my own videos maybe um, that I do like and I kind of just want to do like sit down get ready with me so honestly those are like the videos that excite me the most because I feel like all the vlogs are like basically a TikTok now like everyone does those <laughs> sped up you know collages and stuff and I've done them too but it's just so boring to watch now and it just like anytime I see a creator do like a sped up 10 minute like cut cut scene like you know they're making coffee and it's like a second cut of each thing and I'm just like uh, it's like making my brain melt and I don't like it and I feel like it's every creator and it's not their fault because creators definitely have to follow the trends especially the creators that I follow are all creators that that is their sole job so obviously they have to follow the trends because they have to stay relevant because that's how they make their money so I get why I'm not like hating on the creators it's just like as a trend overall I feel like YouTube should have stayed YouTube TikTok should just say TikTok and Instagram should just stay like Instagram and I feel like everyone says that but the apps like aren't listening to the people that are using the apps so whatever it does make me like kind of sad because I don't even like watching YouTube anymore and then all of my favorite creators are kind of like feeling the same and I feel like they're not posting content and I feel for them because if they don't follow the trends like they don't get as many views and that's like their you know career but for me it's not my career so I'm just gonna make the videos I want and whatever and that's kind of just like chatty get ready with me's and there's not gonna be any like cutscenes. <laughs> oh that's like what I feel like making lately that's like what sounds the most fun to me is like sitting down and doing my makeup every day also want to try to start to do my makeup more every single day to feel more put together because I feel like it's nice that I feel confident without wearing makeup but it's also like I do like wearing makeup so I just have been wanting to put makeup on more so that's me personally so I'm like I'm just gonna do get ready with me as well do my makeup and talk about whatever I want to because that's what like seems the most fun and that's what I wish more creators would do I think but they can't because they have to follow the trends which is totally understandable I get why they they have to do that but anyway yeah so let me know how you guys are feeling about the social media thing because I just like hate being on social media overall now and then I'm like I find myself being stuck on it sometimes especially on YouTube and YouTube used to be like my safe space because I'd like go on YouTube there was absolutely zero short form content so I would be forced to pick a video that I want to watch and then I would do stuff around my house because why not you know I can just watch my video and do things but everything's like shorts now so I get stuck on shorts and there's you literally can't do anything while you're watching shorts <laughs> and it's so annoying I'm like okay when did when did YouTube become TikTok like i did not agree to this. I think I'm going to have to delete the app from my phone. I consistently delete the Instagram app from my phone too. It's kind of a bummer because I love YouTube. And it's just changed. I didn't think it would change this much. So, you know, that's fine. And I know, like, I always stop myself from sharing this opinion that I'm, like, the, how I'm feeling right now online because... I always think like, well, if you don't like something, don't participate in it or like you can't expect things like that to stay the same forever. So I feel like there's kind of like no point in talking about it. I'll just like do what I, you know, what I said I'm going to do is like delete the app and just upload whatever I want, I guess, and just go back to like when YouTube was just a website that you had to visit on your desktop. I'll just treat it like that. But I don't know. It's just kind of a bummer because I just loved YouTube so much um, and I still do love youtube um i'm not gonna give up give up on it just yet not as far as my my channel because i like love making videos it's like my hobby um i like being creative and seeing like the out not that but i'm saying like giving up on watching <laughs> youtube or getting that fulfillment that i would get from watching it before because there's just so many so many videos i wanted to watch and then I would get so much done because I'm like, well, just hanging out watching videos. And that was my thing because I don't really like podcasts. I don't like watching TV too much. I don't like... Anyway, that was just my, my little rant on YouTube. So you guys let me know what you're thinking about social media because I feel like everyone is kind of feeling the same way. 
especially like maybe my older my generation i don't mean i'm giving up on my i'm still gonna make my youtube videos but i'm just saying i have to find maybe a different source of entertainment or back in, in the day when i used to just rewatch Grey's anatomy while i would clean my room i guess i might just have to <laughs> go back to that it was nice to get a little break because i kind of got that inspiration of like what i want to focus on filming which is get ready with me because i also want to get ready every day i guess that's what you guys can expect from me for at least the next little while my camera's about to die so i'm gonna go i have to get dressed anyway and leave oh let me show you petra <laughs> petra got a haircut she's naked she's happy and well too she's annoyed i just woke her up from her nap <laughs> but everyone's really good i'm excited to move so i'll see you guys in my next video.